detail on this embossing is insane. And this packaging, this is gonna be a huge C beauty haul because it was Chinese New Year and I went back to China and picked up a lot of C beauty that I have been wanting so long. Another thing is I feel like having <clears throat> short hair and also not uploading so frequently. I feel like in every video I have a different hairstyle. <laughs> okay. Um, enough of talking, let's just begin because there really is a lot of stuff today. Let's begin with flower notes because that's the most I have got. I have got these six and then they gave me like three free full-size product and one hand mirror and a bunch of other like little gifts with the uh, purchase. And I couldn't resist it, so I already opened the box. I, as you can see, the like the plastic is already rubbed, like ripped off. But yeah, let's just pretend to unbox it again. <laughs> uh, I think the majority that I have got is their latest new collection, Swan Ballet series, their Angel collection, which is the one before the Swan Ballet collection and also my voice <clears throat> I'm probably gonna have a lot <clears throat> in this video because I caught COVID from a friend and I haven't been fully recovered yet so my voice sounds like I was like smoking for the past like 20 years sorry about that <clears throat> flower nose angel collection cream blush <coughs> or is this the latest collection yeah I'll Oh, I, I was wrong. The the Angel one was the latest collection, and the one before that is this like Swan um, Ballet collection. There's hair on my on my lip. So this product is kind of illegal, right? Already the the packaging, it's sick to have this level of packaging. And by the way, all of these combined all together was about. $80, I think, or like less than that, like 70, like around the 70 to $80 range, which is, I think, so cheap, or like maybe I should say affordable compared to a lot of Western brands like that have this level of detail on their packaging. Let's say Pamagraph, like buying one Pamagraph palette, you can just buy these with like maybe half of like one Pamagraph palette, right? And also the quality of the actual product is amazing too. And what I want to say like uh, illegal about this product is it's a cream. And the embossing is like this. How can I ever like use this if, if this is the, the embossing, like it was um, upside down, but you know, you can see the angel's face. Really feels like impossible to touch, but I, I guess I have to. So what I'm thinking is, I don't want to ruin this angel's face. So maybe I should just focus on this part where there's like star. Feels like a looser cream. Like this really feels illegal. But it was like a pretty light, like baby pink. I wonder how this looked like on my cheek because a lot of times swatching on your hand isn't gonna give you the real um, effect on your face. So yeah, I wonder how this will look on my like actual cheek. Maybe let's apply a tiny little bit on top. Today I am wearing a cream blush so I guess this won't layer like too badly. Oh, I think that's very pretty. It's like on, on my hand, you know, it's like so pale. It's like almost a white cast. But on my cheek, it's like, I, I think on camera, it doesn't transfer as well, but in real life, it looks super fresh. Yeah, I really, I really like this. I don't know if you can see the difference. I think it almost neutralizes the 
like a very warm toned blush on on my cheek and it give you like a very very um, fresh look I wonder how this would look on my blushless face <laughs> like you know not layered on top of others but by itself that's the blush the second one actually the next two are both their highlight and they are both um, powder I don't know if they really have any cream highlight but this highlight looks sick the the level of detail on this embossing is insane and this packaging this is like literally art I just um, swatch on this little section which is like I think supposed to mimic the light surrounding the angel so it doesn't really ruin the angel's face just by taking some product for product here let me just use my finger well this is a little bit too bright um but it's not chunky i feel like a lot of highlight looks super chunky especially layering on top of a cream but this one is not i think it looks pretty great I just um, have to see how this actually looks directly on top of my foundation. The next, this also is a highlight, but this is a different color um, variety from the last one. This is blue and the last one is like a rosy pink color. And again, the, the detail is kind of insane. This one looks like it's the same as the last one. But this is more of uh, like a different shift. This is um, like a bluey kind of shift. I should have swatched the last one as well. And also, I just realized I forgot to tell you the name. Um, these are the Flower Nose Little Angel Collection Embossed Highlighter. And the last one was L03 chanting anthem i think and this um second one the blue packaging one is l04 moon river and this is 04 and this is 03 this is what i have um, put on this cheek and uh, let's try this one i actually don't own any this type of, like oh um i don't know if you can tell on the camera but um, it looks purple on my cheek probably because I have like a pinkish um, cream blush underneath so it like transfers as purple but it looks pretty like it's not something that I can't wear on like a daily basis I sh would still wear this on a daily basis it's not like a crazy type of like shift and I think this would look so beautiful on a cool toned blush like a cool toned pink or something like that it would look like super pretty or maybe like even on top of the, the cream blush okay this is beautiful this one is unreal as well well I guess I have four from this um, angel collection this is their eyeshadow palette <laughs> this is so secure and when you open it doesn't this just looks like the window of the church i don't know like the you know in a church there's like a window that has like a different um block of different colored glasses i don't know if that's glass but you know you know what what i'm talking about i think this is giving off that vibe and you know you open the door of a church and this is what you see the door directly in your sight I don't know I have never been a church I'm not like a Christian or anything um, but yeah this is the eyeshadow and I have swatched these and these are so amazing and actually they have two shades the other shade was a cool toned like a neutral palette that's um, suitable looks like it's suitable for daily usage I was gonna buy like both of them but that one went out of stock 
because I guess that's what people want to go for, right? But this one, I, I do think this one is still wearable because I think the only two colors that I probably will wear less um, frequent is this super deep blue and this baby blue. I don't really wear blue that much on a daily basis. If anything, it's probably like a glitter topper, uh, something that has like a light blue shift, but it's not overpowering, um, overpowering, over overpowering blue. But the other shades, I, I do wear purple, and these, I think, other than use as eyeshadow, this can also work as eyebrow powder. I use eyebrow powder in a daily basis as well. And these just look so insane. Like, let me lightly swatch. Um, like, this is a super, super light swatch, okay? I'm not, like, messing with this embossing, so I was, like, really lightly swore, swore, like, one or two times, and this is the pay payoff. It's so really so insane like again very very light swatch the pigment really is there and again a very light swatch Th these are like actually amazing let me swatch one um matte color let's swatch this blue because i feel like baby blue is kind of hard to do oh the pigment is there. I guess the real test is how it look on your eye. So I'm thinking tomorrow I'm gonna do like a try on, like first impression kind of video. But this is so insane. Like my friend is like, are you are you buying this like actually using it because it's like it's just too pretty to use, which I agree. <laughs> and we were talking about probably somebody will like buy two, one for storage and one for actual usage. I think that's probably happening like in somebody's house and I wouldn't blame them because this is like actually too pretty to use. Okay, we got to move quick because we have a lot more. The next is from the Swan Ballet series. It's also an eyeshadow palette and this is the packaging. It's like a black swan and a white swan together. It's like super cute, super beautiful. It's the six color eyeshadow palette in the shade 02 black swan. As you can see, it's like um, this gray red and silverish one. I think they have two other colors. One is uh, a pink themed palette and one is like a cool tone to neutral type palette. I bought this because I feel like I have enough pinks and neutrals and I really am interested in the red and this like gray because from um, Western brands, I can rarely get a gray that work with my skin tone, but I just find because it's East Asian brand, they know our skin tone better. They can do the different to work with colors for Asian better, if that makes sense. Like gray and mauve colors, when I try like a East Asian brand, it usually work on me. So I I think I'm, I have high hope on this palette for like this gray and all the other combinations that I can like create with this look. I see this palette, I feel like this gray is much warmer than a lot of gray that I can think of from uh, like let's say like American makeup brand. Because of that it can work better on me. And these glitters have this um, ballet dress on it. It's so pretty. Let, let me swatch without ruining the dress. I think this is how I'm gonna use it from now on. And I think if this ever heat pan, it would be like heat pan right over the edge of this dress. Okay. Um, let me swatch here. See this pigment? It was. Th this is really insane. It's so beautiful, and like like you can see, I don't want to ruin the embossing, so I was swatching really lightly, and you can see this glitter. 
it's I think this is more intense than the the Angel collection and I just feel like in C Beauty one thing they never have done wrong is glitters small little things little gifts they have gifted with the purchase this mirror the last time I purchased from them they gifted this mirror which is what um, I think this is the mermaid collection I think what I'm gonna do is because I like this one better I think I'm gonna sell this one because I don't need that much um, that many hand mirror one is enough a hair clip this is actually a very very heavy clip but I have nowhere to wear this because of how heavy it is and I don't really wear hair clip on my hair or anywhere so I don't know where I can use this so maybe I will like sell this as well along with the hair clip they gifted last time you know same collection with the mermaid mirror and they also gifted so many little puffs I think these are powder puffs and these are the, like the cushion puffs that you use with like cushion foundation and I think this size is very good for like the detailing and these are powder puffs as well what's the difference between these? are these the same? Oh, I think these are the same. These are the um, the mini powder puff, um, and essentially there are four blushes, for applying blushes. But I mainly see people use this to um, targeted like powder application under their eyes or like something like that. Okay, let's go on to talk about the um, free stuff that I got, the freebies. <clears throat> The first one is this Swan Ballet Series Liquid Eyeshadow. Actually, the three little freebie that I got are all the things that I wanted to get, but I, I thought like I shouldn't buy that many stuff, so I like just deleted it from my um, card. But they they sent it anyway. I don't think they they can like read my card history or anything. They are just like simply giving freebies. I was just lucky. This is the liquid eyeshadow. It's like a very opaque, like gum metal almost type of silver liquid eyeshadow. That's that. And um, a cheek brush, which is also from the ballet collection. Like super cute. I, I still think this is like obviously a full size brush. But it's, the handle is very short and it's kind of good for traveling, maybe. And I do feel like this is gonna be very good for powdering rather than blush, I feel like. And I really, really like this design. This is the ballet. Uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing ballet the word right. The ballet dress and a clear handle. This is like super beautiful, super sleek. The next is a face powder, a loose face powder actually. And this one is really something that I thought maybe I want to get one. Um, but yeah, because I have a lot of powders, so I decided like I won't spend money on that. But as they just sent it anyways, um, this is actually the pink colored one. I think they have several different colors and there's a very soft puff inside. Peel a little bit. Hey, there is another seal under under the like this sticker seal. Oh the powder is more pink than I thought. I thought it was just like a hint of pink. This pink looks like it's gonna be a blush. It's got a pink hue to it, even swatch on my hand. I don't know if you can tell, but this area, it's not those like pale pink um, powders. I guess I will try this in the, you know, the try on video to see if it's actually suitable for my skin or should I use this as a blush. It would be interesting that this like can work as a blush though. But the last one is another eyeshadow from the Flower Nose Strawberry Rococo series. 
and this is the five color eyeshadow palette in the shade 03 black current cold brew so basically i just want to get one easy to use palette uh, i think this is one of their first um, collection. There's no like embossing on this um, shadow so I don't feel as bad to actually use it and it's so creamy. I really really like their um, powder formulas. They are just really it almost feels like it's wet and this glitter again beautiful. I think this is gonna be like my staple of my of eyeshadow palette and that's it that's my um flower nose haul and let's go on to the next brand and i next the next brand i think has been popular for a very long time is Kledos. i got six so the first this is actually a blush a blush a brush that i already um used is this brush it's a pretty great brush like for applying basically anything actually powder blush or like bronzer like anything this is a synthetic hair brush which um, also will be good for like creams and it's very soft it doesn't itch my skin it's it's great I really like it and the the handle gives me the like the Van Gogh's brush vibes like a very sleek black lacquer and it has like a little bit of indigo hue at the end and you can just tell this this handle is like a super great quality and it just you just you just can tell this won't scratch i um sold my Van Gogh's brushes but for the like couple years that i was using it at the end when i was like setting it there's basically no scratch on the brush handle which is extremely rare it's just saying how good the the like the material they are using for the handle is and this one feels like the same type of handle. Like, of course, the hair is different. This is synthetic. Um, but yeah, the, the brush handle is really good quality. And a lot of people read about e.l.f. brushes. And I do like their actual, like, brush, like this part. But I really hate their handles. Their handles, like, are always so flimsy. And they always break on this part. And I just can feel the quality of the handle on the e.l.f. brushes but yeah I really feel like this quality is gonna be way better than that it really feels the same as the Van Gogh's ones the next one is this I believe it's blush it's the Kaleidos there is no English here but it's I, I think it's just a single blush and this is the shade P09 and I think a lot of people have posted this thing not this thing but this blush um, on either YouTube or uh, TikTok and I don't think this blush is anything like like super new I think this is at least released half a year ago um, but I really do wanted something like this like a cool toned pink that's not you know the Dior whatever something glow blush that that type of being pink toned this is more of a nude like nude pink but cool toned nude pink if you know what I mean and I really like um, colors like this maybe let's apply a little bit and I think you can tell this is like such a fresh pink once you apply it to your face of course I have a million other blushes underneath this so the color is probably not very accurate to the actual like if you just apply on its own basically it won't apply as like gray ish on the skin it just will look very um fresh and it's not like orange because i feel like warm tone blush they all on some level is like a little bit orangey but this one is like a completely cool toned blush without being like gray or like dull or like the electric super neon pink which i really like i because i feel like for some reason the neon type of pink blush 
you know, the Dior very famous one, can look a little bit patchy on my skin, regardless of the, the formula. I don't know what it is, but yeah, it does look a little bit patchy. And I feel like this type of super cool toned nude pink just give me the similar vibe, but it's not like as hard to work with. And I really like this packaging as well. It's like a clothing material, polyester or something like that. It's like cushiony. It feels very nice when you are holding this packaging. I really hope there's like more of these type of packaging existing. And this has a fair amount of weight. It feels like really, really good quality. This is the same type of like cushioning, probably polyester type of packaging. If you don't know, this is actually uterus, which is one thing that I really love about Kaleidos. It's really enhanced the, how to say, like feminine energy, not the like all pink, all the ribbons, you know, that type of feminine energy, but you know, actually what represents women you know, uterus, and it's represented in such a non-sexual way because I don't like those enhanced like a feminine energy type of thing when it's actually just sexualizing women. I, I just really like this type of thing, you know, because I feel like a lot of times in the public eyes, male genitals is way more acceptable than female. Is that just me? Because I feel like you can see so many stuff that's, you know, male genital shaped and everyone seems cool about it, which is fine, I guess. But, you know, when it comes to female genital stuff, like everything is considered either super overly sexualized or like gross, you know, period, for example, was considered gross by a lot of people. So I just really like this way that, you know, the packaging is like very feminine and very good, but it's not like sexualizing women in any way. And it's not anything disrespectful. It's just, it's just like feels like powerful. And they have a very good hand mirror that's like a deep purple, also have like a uterus on it. It's super beautiful, but they do not come with the order. You have to actually buy it. But I just don't want to have too many hand mirrors because I only need like probably one or two, so I didn't buy it. But it was very, very beautiful. In this packaging, I, I feel like these two go very well with each other, right? I think in the beginning, I have said that a lot of grayish colors from Western brand don't work on my aging skin tone and I feel like this would work because it looks like a warm gray even this pink it looks like kind of grayish but I do feel like it's gonna work on my skin tone I'm super excited I probably will do like a try on for this as well oh let's actually swatch this glitter compared to you know, all of the flower nose ones. Let me swatch here. Whoa, I think it's, I mean, it's all glitters, right? But I think this is like a different type of glitter. It really feels like foil. I mean, it's probably has something to do with like the, the place that I swatched this. It has curves. So naturally you're gonna see this like more blinding than like on a flat surface, but I do feel like this is more like a densely packed formula that have different sizes of glitters, whereas the flower nose one was probably meant to used on a more like sparse way, other than packed on, you just like kind of sheerly apply it, if that makes sense. I really am in impressed by the glitter formulas in C Beauty. This one I think is the eyeshadow primer because I um, feel like, <coughs> okay, my, my throat needs some hydration. Because I feel like my eyeshadow is being creasing a little bit more than I would love it to be. I thought I want to like purchase one eyeshadow base I now only own one, which is like more of a glitter base. It's like a super sticky. 
I just want like a normal one and I see a lot of people use C Beauty actually use this one so I thought I would try it actually interesting it has a little bit like a peachy tone to it it almost looks like like an under eye corrector that type of shade maybe this is to neutralize the veins on your eyelid I don't know I don't have like much discoloration on my eyelids uh, I just want a good base and I will try this along like with other stuff when I do a try on video and this I think is the like very famous highlight from Kleidos you know those like teen ones uh, actually I want well, I wanted all of them but I um, just know I wouldn't ever use all of them so I just thought I only grab one that seemingly um, looks like something that I will actually use and this is the one I believe these are like a little bit of a dual chrome kind of shade I'm running out of space hmm I think I need to swatch this on my face and for how big this packaging is I thought I would get like a little mirror here but I guess no I feel like it's always nice to have a little mirror there are gonna be like three pounds of makeup on it on my cheek by the end of this video but whoa this is blinding but again it's not chunky even though I'm layering like literally three pounds of highlighter on my face this is not super chunky on the cheek even after this 100 layers I really really like this and I think on my cheeks you can like see it way better than on my wrist and I got one lipstick that is like a super deep red shade yeah this is actually what I wanted exactly what I wanted this formula is like those kind of lip mud type of formula where it's matte but it's not uncomfortable it actually feels moisturizing while looking very matte I wanted to get a black lip gloss but I somehow didn't put that in my um, water I guess um, I don't know why though that's my flower not flower nose uh, my Kleidos haul and I have two other brands and this brand is called Red Earth and this brand actually existed when I was a little so like for a pretty long time and the reason I bought this is because it's actually a Wayne Goss collaboration sold in China and this is actually a very affordable concealer I think it's probably like I don't know eight dollars about like seven eight dollars and it's like a super nice packaging I forgot to tell you the name it's a red earth full coverage concealer nude wear full coverage concealer in the shade 02 this is the swatch let me blend this is super creamy this feels good I like creamy um, formulas this packaging is so sleek this is like a matte um, packaging like I was surprised that uh, like Wayne Goss did a collaboration exclusively sold in China well I guess it's because it's like a Chinese brand but yeah still and this is very very popular on the Chinese beauty community a lot of um, bloggers you know the, the gurus <laughs> are um, posting about this and they all say that they ha this has like a very very good formula and they really like it especially for the price you know like I said like seven eight dollars I only got one thing from this brand Judy Doll I think recently this brand is very popular on the TikTok because of their mascara I think I got seven from Judy Doll and this brand is actually very affordable I think for all of this it's probably like around 30 something dollars because it was like Chinese New Year so a lot of these brands are doing sales this is their super super viral Aaron Wand mascara I won't open it I will like open it when I actually 
you know, use it. This is the, the one that's super popular on TikTok that everybody says it's, uh, it will hold your cur curl, which I will not surprised if they do because this is an um, East Asian brand. And East Asian brand usually does very good on like the curl holding type of mascara because we all have like very straight and downward eyelashes. Eyebrow is another category I feel like it's, it's just better for me to get East Asian brands because I feel like a lot of Western brands are like super reddish. I guess it's because your hair has like warmer tones. But you know, East Asian basically just have like black hair or super, super dark, cool toned brunette. I think I'm like almost black, but has like a little bit like brown hue to it. As you can see, uh, I think the top layer because it's exposed to the sun, so it's a little bit brown, but inside it's like pretty black. The warm toned eyebrows never suited suitable for me. This looks great. It doesn't look like overly cool toned and it doesn't look like too dark either, but I feel like this is this is a great color for me. And I like affordable eyeshadow like no eyeshadow like eyebrow powders it lasts me for ages like way more affordable if i would than if i would let's say buy eyebrow pencils those are gonna be like ran out super fast these two are both eyeshadows like single eyeshadows g01 and one is m01 i guess it's glitter 01 and matte 01 this one looks like it could be a dupe for the Space Cowboy from uh, Urban Decay. I have this one, that one as well. I think I'm gonna do like a comparison in a video. Actually, this color looks like it's gonna work as a blush as well. Like a creamy. I just really love these tones that it's like warm enough to work on Asian skin tone, but it's not too warm that it's orangey. There's also a single cream blush. It's again, this type of pale pink. This might be like a little similar to the flower nose one, but a little bit more opaque, I guess. Yeah, I will try this on my face in a video. There is a powder blush, and this packaging is so cute. It looks like flower petals and it's the actual like cool toned pink that's very viral on TikTok, right? It was very viral, not not right now. It was like I think the trend has died down, but yeah. I'm curious how Asian brand will do this type of color. That's why I purchased this one. And also because of the packaging and eyeliner. And this eyeliner feels so sturdy in a way. Like it feels like an actual pen rather than like an eyeliner pen. It's the hyper sharp eyeliner in the shade deep brown. I really oh I think this is this is why I got it because it has like this super super fine tip and it's like curved. So I wonder if this is actually easier to use than your actual like regular eyeliner we'll see we'll see in the try on video there's one Kleidos thing that's hide under my computer i think it's like a lip mask this is their gift with purchase super cute packaging a matte jelly but from the side like the side of the jar it looks like there's some shimmers in it three other things a loxitone hand cream that everybody seems to like rave on tiktok and i have the very dry hands and i don't know if you have the same problem that this part of your nail like it usually it splits like a little bit and it sticks out it either feels painful when something like rubbing against it or you will scratch your clothes or it do both. So I wonder if this will fix that because I feel like when I oil my nail super super well, it does get better. 
but um, I'm not patient enough to oil my nail like 10 times a day. I don't have that time. Once in the morning and once at night, that's the best I can do. So I just wonder during the day if I can get away with just applying hand cream. This is <coughs> super, super popular for some reason on TikTok. It's weird that TikTok usually have some product that exists for years, if not decades, going viral, like all over again. Like the Dior blush, the um, Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand, something like that. They all exist for like years before it get viral on TikTok. And also the Black Honey from Clinique, right? And this thing is another example. This thing, I think it probably existed for like decades. Everybody was like squeezing. Apparently it's like should be cushiony, which is a little bit cushiony. Hmm. It smells like those creams my mom used in the 90s. But it's not like overpowering smell very very moisturizing and it's not sticky which is what people are talking about but it still feels like some sort of oil is on your hand so if you don't like that feeling then probably still this is gonna be too heavy for you but i feel like it's it's okay for me another one is this clarence lip oil there are so many lip oils going viral on TikTok and I don't want to purchase every single one of them. So I just want to like buy one that is like, basically you can get a taste of like most of the stuff that's viral and also it's not too expensive which is this one. I think this is probably 20 something dollars at the airport tax free. This is 7 mils. 0.2 ounce, which I don't think is like bad. It's probably on the like middle or like a little more side. And this is the color 10, like the plum color. I feel like for this type of lip oils, you really got to get a deeper color. Otherwise, it's gonna be not that much different than a clear lip gloss, right? And I don't have anything that's like this and I do like this look that's why I got this shade it's super comfortable I tried it on in the store you know the tax-free store and this is one uh, from Dior and this I don't know when my camera stopped recording but I got a free monitor from Dior at, at Cosme in Japan at Cosme is a big website and store in Japan for basically beauty products. It's like Sephora and they have this monitor program that if you apply them and they choose you to be their monitor, which I think in some way is like a random, the random choose people. Um, so if you win, you get to send their product and write reviews for them. And the last time I applied, I also got the foundation. I, I did film a review video also here on YouTube, same channel. I later decluttered it because at that point I had too many foundations. And now I'm happy to have it back. The two times I applied for this foundation, I got it both times. I don't know, like, do you all love me, maybe? <laughs> Thank you for choosing me and send me the foundation. I will definitely film a video about it. I think it's probably more than they ask, but I'm, I'm, I'm you know, happy to do that. And I actually really liked, the last time, I really liked the formula, but I, s I think since then they have reformulated, and now it's their, like, clean or vegan formula, I guess. I will try this and, you know, see if it's like still as good. That's it. This video has gone too long. I will do like a review video for all of them, probably separately. Stay tuned if you want to see those videos. Thank you for watching.